other things are just to prepare for multi GPU training. So this is the five years ago in the Chinese New Year, uh, Alex is in Zambor, multi GPU machine at CMU. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we bought everything on eBay and it's pretty cheap. It's $5,000 at that time and four GPUs. Um, and you see the IKEA toolbox here, it's pretty cheap. Um, the only thing here, the problem here that you, sh you see that the GPUs are one by one here. You see the GPUs? Just the, you know, the hands. They're too close to each other. And, and after two days, just one GPU burned out. <laughs> this is the first lesson we learned. And then I call eBay on their uh, Chinese New Year. Uh, we have a broken GPU, how I can send it back to you. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. Uh, Okay, uh, so let's do how to do multi uh, GPU training. Multi GPU training have multiple ways. Here we're going to talk about the data parallelism, which is the most commonly used way. So, data parallelism means that for each data batch, we're going to run the data batch in multiple GPUs. So here, the example here is just a batch, a batch of data. For example, we have 100 examples in the batch. Then we split the data into four parts. So each part we have 25 examples. And we send each part to each GPU memory, just a copy from CPU memory to GPU memory. Then we assume the parameters are on, uh, on CPU memory. We call it just a key value store. So it doesn't matter for the name, but just uh, we know we are central place, uh, place for the parameters. So then we copy the whole parameters to each GPU. Okay, so copy the parameters. Once you get data, you got the parameters, we can compute the gradient. So we compute the gradients in parallel, which means every GPU runs things in parallel. We already showed that. Once you have the gradient ready, we just send the gradient back to the key value store. If we found this four gradient together, we're gonna get a gradient for the whole batch we have. So when, then we can update the parameters here. So this, by this one, we finish one data iteration. And then we do that again and again to do multi-GPU training. 